and that's it. You've made it all the way to the last one. Final words. You see the little celebration. Hopefully you've enjoyed this course. And if you did, I'm very curious to hear from you. What did you think? What did you learn? What did you like the most about it? So let me know. I'm leaving some uh, links under the video. You can follow me on Twitter at I Hate Tomatoes. Of course, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're not already there, visit my website or check out some of my other courses. And here are some other useful resources to follow if you want to learn more about Tailwind CSS or Next.js. Lee Robinson, James Q. Quick or Lee Holiday are great content creators from YouTube that you can follow to learn even more about Next.js. Of course, I didn't cover everything and there is much more to learn, but feel free to submit PR if you have some other learning resources that you think should be included on this page. Okay, and if you are a content creator and or you, you know a content creator that would enjoy simple platform like this where you just simply creating markdown files for each of the units to create mini site like this with Next.js and deploy it to Versal, then feel free to use it. I'm leaving a link to the Git repo under the video as well. And that wraps it up. As I said, I'm done. This was 13 or 14 videos. Hopefully you've enjoyed it because now I will uh, take a little break and just chill out. No more green screen for me. And I can chill out. This was good. I actually enjoyed it. I've learned heaps about Tailwind CSS, Next.js, React Query and React hook form while I was doing this tutorial. So hopefully if you've enjoyed it as well, as I said, would be super useful if you give me some feedback on Twitter or through my own website. And if you really enjoyed it, make sure you spread the word. So it this gets in front of more developers than just you and me. Okay. Until next time, happy coding.